Now, we will explore how to take advantage of conditional formatting options on specific columns within Zerpa's multilevel matrix. This functionality allows you to visually customize your data, making it easier to interpret and improving the clarity of your reports. Within the multilevel matrix, there are three types of column displays. The standard matrix, which displays the values in traditional numeric format. The stacked bars, which allow a quick graphical representation of the value, and finally the lollipop format, which balances the numerical with a more modern visual style. In addition, it is possible to customize the negative values. You can choose whether to display them in red or in the default color. And also whether to include parentheses to make it easier to differentiate them. Let's take a look at it. We start by selecting the currency variation column of my income statement for the period. And notice how I have several options. First of all, I can visualize my data in stacked bar format. Observe its behavior. I can also convert it to a lollipop type. It is a similar format, but with different display. Finally, we can leave it in matrix format and play with the style of the negative values. We have several options. We can put them in red, add parentheses, and in red between parentheses. I am going to leave them only in red. Now, I'm going to select the cumulative monetary variation of the year and I will also select the style of the negative values in red. In this way, we highlight those variations that have been negative. Conditional column formatting within the multilevel matrix by Zerpa provides advanced customization, facilitating clear and accurate visualization of your data.